My name is Kim Quaz McCarricker, and I am the artist for the month of November here at the Berkeley Public Library. Um, I have about 10 pieces here, and I'll talk a little bit about each of them. Um, this is a series of um, horses I did uh, from Revelation 6, um, six chapter about the um, coming of the white horse, the black horse, the pale horse, and the fiery red. Um, they're kind of abstracty sometimes realism, sometimes more of a spiritual sense is what I'm trying to get across. Uh, my philosophy of art is I believe all art is valid. Um, some speak, uh, shouts perfection to the masses, others speak prose to the few, and some just mean, mis whispers meaning to the one. I believe all art is valid. Hi, um, these pieces were some of my earlier pieces. Um, with this piece, the young girl, her eyes really drew me to that. Um, it was painted by Russian painter um, Nikolai Lokin. And um, I made attempts at copying, trying to find his color schemes, and I made some adjustment with her. I've been a nurse for 40 years, so I've looked at a lot of people's eyes and a lot of nonverbal communication happens. And so I felt that this was a, a communicating a lot of nonverbal things, but also it was the sense of color um, in the skin tones that really drew me to this piece. And this piece is feeling her passion. Um, I have a cousin whose daughter was a ballerina for Grand Rapids, and she would dance on a broken toe because um, the show must go on. So the dancers from like the Gaz, and it's a mix of Stanka Kordik, a Russian artist that's here in the United States of how to show movement. And I just love the fact that she's just happy twirling around. And that's how Amy was. She was always happy just twirling around. This piece, I called it Three Sisters because I just love roses and I love the colors and Sometimes sisters are just together with the same type of color scheme. It's just kind of fun for me to be painting. These pieces were done during a workshop um, that was over on the other side of the state, Lowell, Michigan, with Sion Wu. And he's an artist, a long-term artist that's been uh, practicing out in San Francisco. So they come to Michigan and they have workshops and I'd like to take advantage of that. So these, all three of these paintings were from live models. Um, just, uh, I just had a, a, just a lot of fun with this. Um, I like sometimes coming from the back of of ladies just to, um, I don't know, it just interests me. Um, this one, Sleeping Beauty, that one was a shaved head, the model had a shaved head and has that red green going on. This one, I was really intrigued by the pink chiffon and this, the blue chiffon and then the background trying to put that together with their long hair. Um, and this just makes me happy when I do these paintings. I love doing people. I've been a nurse for 40 years. And um, people just are fascinating in their stories. So I want to paint their memories. That's what I like to do, whether memory is a, a place, uh, something good to remind them of good things that are in their life. You know, it depends on what you focus on. And we try to focus on the good things. And that's what I'm hoping my paintings do, is to have people focus on the better things in life and remember that it's just going to be okay. This piece is called Michigan Bay. I love, one of the things I love about doing paintings in my art is going to plenary events. And so I go to plenary events around the whole state of Michigan, I went down to Missouri, and you get to paint nature with other artists. And then it sells that night. Um, this Michigan is just a favorite uh, area of mine, the northwest corner. 
when I was younger, growing up around the Detroit area, I didn't even know it existed. I would just recommend that everybody go to Empire and Glen Arbor and um, see the beauty of the uh, Sleeping Bear National Park. But I'm a Christian. I believe in Jesus, and I believe that God created beautiful things for us to admire. And so um, that's what I try to do with my nature pictures. Sometimes I'll use a palette knife. Basically, they're all in oil. Um, but um, you just kind of have fun with it. I never know how it's going to turn out because sometimes I try to stop it before it gets too realistic. Sometimes I like the abstract. Uh, my goal is always to have it look very abstract -y in the front, but if you step back 15 foot or 30 foot, it looks realistic. Um, but who can achieve that? I don't know. <laughs> I just keep trying and just keep having fun, and I love all the different people that I meet when I paint. So I'd like to encourage people to give it a try. Painting really helps um, when you're going through painful times because for a moment you're in the right place at the right time doing the right thing and you get peace. Thank you.